Alright, let's get started with the very first episode of Elder Scrolls Online. Now this episode is going to contain the very first opening scene, so I'm going to let that play through with all the audio, just so you know, and then after that I will rejoin you for my character creation. So without further ado, let's get started. The storm is coming. The scent of war swirls in the air. As the Imperial throne lies empty, the fate of all Chamriel rests on the strength of a common prisoner's soul. Evil awakened. A long vanished foe stirs. Those who would destroy Tamriel seek out dangers to their dark plot. And so death's long arm reaches out. It is the 582nd year of the Second Era. The drums of war are sounding. This is where our journey begins. Alright, that was an awesome introduction to a fantastic game. Let's hope. And, oh, God, no, I don't want to beat Argonian. Okay, a anyways, uh, it looks like we started out dead. Um, and we're down here in what looks to be hell. And I'm going to cycle through the races a little bit. Um, you can see up top there's a few, three different alliances you can choose from. And once you choose that alliance, you have to choose a race. Now, um, whichever alliance you choose, you'll have to choose a race underneath that alliance so right now I believe it's Dominion the Alliance Dominion is what I have selected you can have High Elf, Wood Elf or Khajiit I believe um, and then next I have I'm sorry I can't even read that um, but it contains the Dark Elf um, which I was in my last game <laughs> the Nords and I'm sorry, whatever was up on top, I missed that. Uh, we're going to move over to the third alliance, which is the Daggerfall. Daggerfall something. Uh, <laughs> anyways, Redguard, Orc, and uh, I believe Breton. And these are more of the, the tough guys. So there's like the tough guy class, the kind of sneaky warrior class, and then the more magically oriented class, I guess you could say. Um, I am going to choose the middle class. Um, like I said in my last game, uh, Elder Scrolls uh, Skyrim, I was the Dark Elf. Uh, in this video, I am going to select a Wood Elf because they're very good at sneaking and archery. Now, what I plan to make this character is a very good archer. And there you can see, you can completely take your clothes off. Uh, Anyways, I'm going to make a very good archer that is also very good at stealth blades. So he's going to be able to snipe with an archer, so to speak, with, with a bow and arrow. And then close combat, he's going to be very quick and hopefully do um, dual wield some fast swords. So like um, two swords and oh Argonian. Oh god, I hate Argonian. That was the last class. I'm sorry. Um, I just don't like Argonians, I don't know why, I just don't, and Khajiit are weird too, but I don't mind them as much as Argonian. Anyways, 
Um, we're going to go with Wood Elf because, yeah, the, the class I'm going to try to build towards is a very fun to play um, sniper slash when it comes to close combat, uh, too quick to handle. And there's a lot of customization options once you get into building your character. Now, I will be making other videos. Um, showing what other character customization looks like so if you have any ideas for which characters you like to see please leave comment in the comment box below and i will surely be making a video just for you if you comment so uh, please do and i will be making that video but for now we're going to look through what the customization options you can have for this now actually you have to choose um, what kind of class set you want to be templar um, which I believe is more of a mage. Um, I, we're gonna choose Nightblade. I think there is Dragon Knight or something like that. I, I'm sorry, I'm totally skipping everything while I'm talking. But yes, we're gonna choose Jet Dragon Blade, which is very quick, close combat and sneaky stuff. So it's going to fit along with my plan for this character. Now we're gonna make him very muscular because who would want to make him wimpy or fat? Uh, not me. He's going to be very muscular and he's going to be pretty tall. Now once you actually start the game he looks kind of like a midget so <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, if you guys want to make him look normally sized you can um, make his height taller if you'd like. Um, I, I thought this was high enough but apparently compared to everyone else he is very scrawny. Um, I didn't put any body markings on just because I don't I, I don't know really why I did it. I just kind of wanted to be clean cut. Uh, next time I think I'm going to put more on him. You can see I made his torso size fairly large, chest size fairly large, um, gut size all the way down. I don't want to have him to have a beer gut. His waist size is decently up to make him look proportional. His arm size is going to be all the way up, obviously, because he's going to be like this buff, completely buff uh, assassin. Um, and then everything else I'm just trying to make him look somewhat proportional and not out of complete context. And not quite sure what this slide was, so I just left it um, off or on, I believe. I don't remember, or halfway. <laughs> there it is. And then leg size. I'm going to make them small so he can look very fit and athletic. Um, not necessarily strong, but fit and athletic. And foot size can be pretty big, but I don't want him to have hobbit's feet, so not too big. Alright, face type. You can give him more of an angry face, a soft face, or a heroic face. Which I'm going to go either heroic or soft. I think I'm going to go more towards soft, but kind of between those two. Um, just because I don't want him to look angry, but I want him to look heroic and soft. Now I'm going to let you listen to the voices a little bit. So you might see I picked kind of a more whimsical funny guy. Um, <laughs> I didn't really want huge battle cries because this is going to be the the sneaky assassin elf and um, I didn't want to give him a little bit of character so his voice is going to be a little bit different. Um, probably not what most people would pick. If I were making a warrior I will make it more of a heroic yell but you know as of right now this is what it is and that's kind of how I'm going to go about it I believe. So. As far as I'm concerned, that's exactly what my warrior is going to look like. So now, moving right along, we have the hairstyle. I wanted it to make to make it look um, like I remember elves' hair looking in like Lord of the Rings and stuff like that, um, like Legolas' hair, but darker, so to speak. Um, I like giving it a, a very 
classic elf look and then um, when it comes to facial hair and stuff um, I really like this headband thing it's weird but I like this headband thing and it comes with some pretty nice scruff face facial hair so I'm a pretty badass looking elf if you ask me um, you have some kind of funny facial hair options um, <laughs> but especially that one and then you can have like antlers which is just freaking weird so we're just gonna stay with the odd looking headband and the somewhat cool looking scruff if that's okay with everyone um, that's what I'm planning on doing so that's the facial hairstyle I'm going to choose and then it also uh, adds that band and we're gonna make that selection now I believe I think it looks pretty cool um, it makes him look a lot like an elf. I want to see what it looks like with veteran gear on. Um, of course, this isn't isn't the gear you have to use. It's just gear that is showing you what he'll look like in the future if you get that kind of gear, so to speak. Um, probably not planning on getting that exact armor. I don't really like helmets like that. I like more of hoods, like you might have seen in the Elder Scrolls Online trailer. Uh, but yeah, this guy's gonna be pretty pretty awesome to start out with. I think he's gonna be a very good first guy. Um, and just so you know. With the Elder Scrolls Online, you can create up to eight different players. So with one subscription, uh, it's $15 a month, but then you can have eight different players. So I know my buddy has two right now, and I'm just starting with one, and I'm going to get him a little bit far, and then maybe I'll consider building... I kind of wanted to build like a beefy tank guy. Um, but like I said, I want you guys to tell me what kind of character customization you want to see, and I will put that video out. So if you want to see Red Guard or anything like that, be sure to let me know and I will get that going for you so as of right now we are working on my wood elf and I'm trying to make him look as much like an elf as possible uh, I remember from the movies I have watched uh, they have very vibrant eyes um, the ones that are important at least so like Legolas had very very blue eyes and Legolas is kind of what I'm modeling after just because I am going to make him an archer uh, so he had bright blue eyes uh, they don't really have bright blue eyes in here so I'm gonna go for the very bright green and then you can edit his eyes and his eyebrows so I'm going to edit his eyebrows a little bit still make him look like an elf with the high raised eyebrows but edit them a little bit and right now I'm editing the, the placement of his eyes um, how big they are so to speak whatnot and trying to make him fit my liking and I'm telling you guys if you're creating a person on Elder Scrolls Online it is a very very diverse way of creating a character they have a lot of options for you and you will find what you're looking for in creation so we're still working through right now looking at the eyebrows hopefully we find the ones that will make him look the most badass awesome and cool at the same time but Still searching, still searching. Forgot what eyebrows I chose actually. What this see you probably saw at the beginning of the video of my character, so you already pretty much know what he looks like. Uh spoiler alert, I should have put that at the beginning of the video. Maybe I still will. Um But yeah, um he, he doesn't get very good armor to start with or very good weapons. I noticed in my first few missions I've accomplished, I haven't found any weapons. I finally found a bow, but I don't know how the bow and arrow system works. I don't know if you need individual arrows or whatnot. Uh, looks like I just found a bow, and I don't know if I found arrows, but I was able to use it, so I'll have to look into kind of how that works. But the entire first part of my adventures, I've been using a mace, two-handed mace or two-handed longsword, which are my two least favorite weapons in the entire game like by far I hate them um, so I'm trying to find a one-handed sword or a bow and arrow and I finally do find a bow and arrow after like my third mission um, I am going to re-upload fighting through this cave in hell um, and how you get out and stuff like that so the very first mission and walkthrough I'm going to post right after this video so that'll give you guys a very good idea of what kind of happens in this game and you'll get a very good sense of what Elder Scrolls Online looks like and that's my goal here so right now that does wrap up my character creation and then we're going to be getting the hell out of hell so that will be my next video and I will see you guys then stay tuned <laughs>